Hello, my name is Ethan Moriarty, and today I'm going to be discussing my storm chase that took place on March 26th, 2021, where there was an EF1 preliminary rated tornado in Middlebury, Vermont. In the days leading up to the event, numerical models showed that there would be enough ingredients to support severe weather in the northern northeast. This includes strong 500 millibar winds out of the southwest, exceeding 90 knots, dew points that were above 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and mid-level cape that ranged from 500 to over 1,000 joules per kilogram. As the event drew closer, it became clear that northern New York or western Vermont seemed to be the place to be to see the best severe weather. So the night before, the area of Middlebury, Vermont was chosen as the target area. On the way to the target area, there was a low level layer of fog and still overcast across much of the northeast. By the time late morning and afternoon began to roll around, the cloud layer broke away and the sun was able to come through and start heating the surface in western Vermont. As I drew closer to the target area, over the Adirondacks in New York, a boat echo style storm system developed. Several severe thunderstorm warnings were issued as it drew closer to western Vermont. By 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I positioned myself in a town called Orwell, Vermont, and positioned for an intercept of the Bow Echo. All right, the current time is 1.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We are in Orwell, Vermont, on, I don't even know what this road is, on Old Sawmill Road, Old Sawmill and Vale Road. However, as I watched radar updates come in, it seemed like an area of circulation was trying to develop to my north, so I decided to leave my vantage point in Orwell and move north to intercept the circulation. Keeping my eye on this circulation here, which is, oh, you can't see it. It's gonna be, I have to turn the car around. Oh, lovely. That's somewhere we can go. Okay, let's get a move on then. At about 1.40 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I moved through the town of Middlebury. Oh. At this time, I thought that the circulation was still further to my north, so I pursued north. Little did I know that the circulation was just to my west and that it would overshoot the impending tornado. At 1.50 p.m. on Route 7, just north of Middlebury, I was slammed by a massive downburst. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Those are some real powerful straight line winds. This might be dumb, but... Looking at the reflectivity and where my current location was, I'm summarizing that it very well could have been the rear flanking downdraft to the circulation that ultimately spawned the EF1 tornado that impacted east of Middlebury. Overall, this chase was a great start to the 2021 storm season. I'm considering it a good warm-up as it helped me calibrate myself and get ready for storms in the future. This was also my first chase in my new chase vehicle, 
the 2019 Super Cross Track. So it helped me feel it out on wet dirt roads and other hazardous conditions. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following June 1st on the various socials, all linked down below.